Hello and welcome! In today's video, we're going to be discussing dichotomous keys, what they are, and how to use them. So a dichotomous key is kind of like playing a game of 20 questions to go ahead and figure out what type of organism you're looking at. So what is a dichotomous key? Dichotomous keys are often composed of statements with two opposite parts or categories. You're going to go ahead and choose the statement that is true about whatever unknown organism you're currently looking at. And these are all based upon physical traits that you can actually see. So like I said earlier, consider it like a game of 20 questions. You get closer to finding out what it is, each question you answer, and each step you take. So up next, we're going to talk about how to use it. How to use a dichotomous key. Number one, first start at the very first question. Look at the organism and use the physical characteristics to answer each question as you go. Continue this process until you've determined what organism it is that you're looking at. So, let's go ahead and give this a try, shall we? Go ahead and I'm going to ask you to pause it here, after we go through the first one. So, let's go ahead and try to figure out what organism A is. So, we start off at our very first question. Right here. So, 1A. Wings are covered by an exoskeleton. Or wings are not covered by an exoskeleton. So if we go ahead and look at the, the first organism here, we can clearly see that there's no shielding or shell over the wings. So that means we're going to go ahead and go on to step number three. Now, now that we've reached step number three, we have two options once again. Do the wings point uh, outward from the body, or do the wings point towards the rear of the body? And if we look at A, sure enough, the wings are definitely pointing backwards towards the rear of the body, meaning that this must be a bee. Like I said, go ahead and pause it here, and I'd like you to figure out the rest on your own. Then go ahead and restart the, uh, not restart the video, press play, and we'll see if you're right. Letter B, you should have gotten a firefly. Letter C, you should have gotten a dragonfly. And letter D, you should have gotten a ladybug. Now I understand that most of you could probably go ahead and take a look at this and just realize, oh yes, of course that's a bee, that's a firefly, that's a dragonfly, that's a ladybug, I get that. But the important thing here is remember, always start at the first question and work your way from there. If you follow these directions, it's going to be a little bit hard to go ahead and get lost. And that is how you use a dichotomous key. As always, if you have any questions, please make sure you see you in your uh, instructor. And until next time, you go ahead and take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next video. See ya!